So it was a few days ago which I made a video about the Rode Central mobile app and I reviewed that app which is for smartphones but yesterday I heard that Rode has released a big update for the Wireless Go 2 and the Rode Central desktop app and there are lots of cool and new features which this update brings. So let's jump into the Rode Central desktop app and see what cool features we get with this big update. The most exciting feature of this update is definitely the batch exporting option which a lot of people were expecting from the road from a long time ago. Now you can easily select multiple files of your recordings and press the batch export button and select the location and export all of your files automatically without needing to just doing this one by one and in this way it is more convenient and easier. Another new feature of this update is the ability to rename your files and you can easily rename your recorded files one by one so anytime you want to find your files you not want to uh, play those files to see which one is which and they are not just those numbers and you can easily find your recorded files by the name they have and export them really easy depending on your project and the files they have. The other great feature of this new update is locating markers. The markers which you add by pressing the button on your road transmitter will be categorized under each recording and by clicking on those markers you can easily navigate to that section and just select that section and export that section really easily without any problem. Another change with this update is that the user markers will be shown with green and dropout markers will be shown with red so you know which one is which and also if you lose the connection between the transmitter and receiver for a long period I think longer than 10 seconds it will be shown in a, a red region and you can see that you can easily find that region and know that it was a, a, a lost connection I did not record that section in the receiver so you can back up that from the transmitter and use it for your project they have also added a mini navigation bar at the top of the recordings which you can easily use to navigate inside the recording and also zoom out and zoom in on it which makes the things a lot easier. And also now there is an option that enables the users to just select a specific section of the recording and just export that section which I think is a really good option. But there are still some cons with this update which I need to mention. For example, when you are viewing the recordings, uh, you will see the waveform at the start of the recording. But when you go forward, you will see that the waveform is empty. I don't know why this happens. It, this happens in Windows and I s did not see that in the Mac demo app which the road showed. But this happens for me in Windows at least. And another uh, con of this update is that it, this was not present and I think they should have added the option to remove the recorded files one by one and now you just have to format the whole device and you do not have the ability to remove the recorded files one by one and I hope they add this in the future updates. Thank you so much for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new. If you have any questions please drop them in the comment section and I will be seeing you in my future videos. Goodbye.